worry. You're fine. Here's it. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, but I have Abigail here and I pat my mall and uh, I, I, I prefer to stay, stay with, keep with what I have. I understand. I literally, I'm like staring at him like, what, what? <laughs> Just so confused. Me and Abigail and Nora, my, my late wife have, a connection and just like Honora is the only woman for me, Abigail is the only ex for me. I see. Can you guys tell, have we gone offline on the stream or are we frozen on the stream? I'm um, looking. I'm reloading the page real quick just to see what chat's still rolling. Yeah, yeah. chat's going, but it looks like there's some kind of error. Yeah, I've been getting network. I've, mine's been lagging really bad all night, but it's can I can't won't even load now. Yeah. Yeah. Shows network error. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, it showed Castle Mac was offline, but now it's showing live, so maybe we gotta... I don't know, I'm still seeing it as network error. Please pardon the technical difficulties. Yeah, right. Pull the chat real quick, see if, see if they're getting anything. Well, my drop frames just went through the roof. Are you uh, are you recording locally, uh, stuff? Um, I do not know. Okay. I had it set up when I streamed my channel. I do, but. I'm, I'm recording as well. Uh, well I'm, I'm recording the actual um, Zoom chat. So if we need to, yeah. I, according to Casamac Coach, he's just seeing network error like me. Yeah. Yeah, same. yeah. Not sure what's going on there. Um, check. Let me check Twitter. See if anything's coming up with uh, with um, Twitch problems. Oh, apparently oh. we're live. Coach, says we're live. Says we're live. We're oh, Jake's here. What's up, Jake? Hey. Okay. So we are in the armory with Master Riley, the armorer for High Meadow Manor. And the characters have been shown a table of weapons, um, very nicely crafted weapons. And Riley is in the process of handing out these items, um, a longbow for Dev uh, Pavel, a beautifully crafted, very keen-edged battle axe for Lyalla Bright. A pair of bracers that would slip, you know, above or maybe like under gauntlet. Um, beautifully hand-tooled leather, some 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 snaps or buttons, ivory, gold, very nice. Um, another shorter longbow there, uh, probably intended for flint, and then a beautiful uh, maul uh, intended for Stoneheart. Um, uh, who has decided to stick with his trusty Abigail. Uh, yes, my good dwarf, I certainly understand your reluctance to part with uh, Abigail, who has, I'm sure, served you well. Uh, a, a word about the items. Uh, Flint, just let me know when you wander back in, if you do, if you manage to not over-caffeinate and explode. Uh, Flint is <laughs> off enjoying the benefits of uh, lots of coffee. Running off if, that energy. She doesn't come back. I'm just going to hold the bow for her. Probably like out in the garden somewhere just making like grass snow angels like this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> A word about like the items. Yes. <laughs> you will wish to spend time alone with your item 
feeling its strength, feeling its quality, its weight, its balance, practicing with it, if you will. You'll have ample time this evening and tomorrow before you leave. Uh, I suggest at least an hour, maybe two, so that you become comfortable with uh, what each of your items uh, can do for you. Can I make you like an insight check to see if I sort of get what he's hinting at? Sure. Although, um, no, no, two, <laughs> no, not. no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Just goes, woo. I'm just like holding it above my head. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. Everybody has what appears to be uh, beautifully crafted items that somehow before by whatever means have been selected and laid out for each of you. Um, you should have found your primary weapon or in Harlow's case, an item that would serve you in your best capacity. So yes, that is uh, tools and a gift from Lord Thanon that you are to take with you and use and keep. Um, I will look. I would like to look at the armor available. Mm -hmm. uh, you will find a wide variety of armors. Um, everything short of like a full regaled knightly suit of plate mail, but typical utilitarian soldiery, uh, you know, banded splint, half plate, uh, chain, um, combinations, you know, like leather pants, chain mail, like he's wearing various things. There's studded leather, um, um, no helmets, some shields, all of various sizes. What can I help you find? Um, give me a second, and I will. I'm opening them up. Opening them up. Opening up D and D Beyond. Very well. Feel free to to look around. Each of you, Seth and uh, Sabrina, can provision you with with uh, foodstuffs, sundry items. Sorry about the dog barking. No, it adds it adds like mojo. Dogs are good. Um, Harlow's just gonna take a good set of leather armor and she's gonna put on her bracers and study them very carefully. Is there anything I can get from that? I'm sorry. Oh, um Harlow's gonna find a, a good set of leather armor, take that, but she's also gonna put her bracers on and study them as, as really closely. Is yeah. there anything she gets from it? Yeah, so when you put the bracers on, they, they, they fit amazingly well, almost like a second skin. They don't shift to you, like they don't adapt to your body. They fit, like they were made for you. Um, and you feel somehow um, more dexterous, a little just movement uh, is easier, less encumbered. More dexterous. Awesome. Great. I will look for a set of splint mail that will fit a dwarf. You'll find uh, various sizes and way you can fashion. Um, once you've pulled some items out, Riley will come over. Uh, yes, Henry, what can I do to help? I can help fit that to you. Oh, that would be wonderful. Um, and so he immediately gets busy. You know, he'll crouch down, kneel down, and start putting various pieces, checking the banding, tightening, um, things of that nature to get things so that it's suitable for your size and stature. Um, you can tell if you have any knowledge of, of you know, uh, an armor smith. Um, this guy's solid. Been, been around the block. Cool. And I will leave my chain mail there. I can keep these items, uh, anything you leave behind. Uh, 
in a uh, in a safe place for you, and it will be available to you upon return if you wish to have it. I thank him. Um, after kind of the initial like shock and awe of the the bow, I sort of I see him uh, getting fitted with new armor and look down at my own, which is kind of old, kind of road worn, and uh, I start to look through. Uh, and uh, if there is any there, I think my eye catches on a on a thing of half plate. Yeah. I see, Paul. And he kind of sizes you up, looks at you. I think I might have something that uh, could fit you, fit your upper body. And he pulls, you know, kind of rummaging, and ah, yes. And he hands you a, you know, a, a bit of half plate. Fantastic. And I, uh, uh, I put it on with. Little to no, uh, no difficulty. Uh, you know, self. Uh, I like adjust all the straps on my own. Okay. Yeah. He just watches you don your armor, stays out of the way until he feels like he needs to jump in, which he clearly doesn't. And so there you are. There I am. Fantastic. Uh, Layala, is there anything I can do for you, lady? Um, I think I'm well set with the the armor, but thank you for the weapon. Uh, thank Lord Thanon. 